Are we rolling? Whoa. I don't know, but that one hit pretty hard. Let's see if we can get him in without going overboard. Once again, I haven't really anchored myself in a very smart location. I think we can handle it though. This is a better position here that he just pulled me into. Well, there we go. Just like that. Got another fish on. Whether or not it makes it into the kayak's a whole other story, but you know, these are locations that can't really pass on. I'm uh, not really in a deep hole here. I typically like to fish locations that combine structure with deeper water but on this stretch there just really isn't a whole lot of deep water so I picked out a location here that's got a lot of good looking structure along the bank and turn the camera a little bit there for you got a lot of good looking structure here along the bank and drop the bait worst thing that can happen is you sit there for a few minutes and nothing bites but this one did this one did and it's it appears to be a pretty nice channel cat so i went there for a couple weeks without catching any channels or at least didn't catch any sizable channels so i think they may have been on been on the beds they might have been spawning and i think now they might have just started wrapping up i'm sure happy about it if they have started wrapping it up and i'm gonna if it means i'm gonna start catching a few more of them That's a good looking fish there though. I was saying earlier, I kind of had a different plan for this afternoon and uh, sort of decided to bent. Wow, that's a, that is a good channel cat there guys. That's a good one. Kind of abandoned my plans for the afternoon just cause it just didn't sound, it sound fun. It sounded like more work than it did fun. It started out the idea in my mind sounded fun, but then the afternoon came along and some things happened this weekend that weren't really according to plan and I just wasn't really in the mood for putting in the work that it would require. So called an audible, came back out here to catch a few more fish and that right there is a really good quality channel cat. So I'm pretty, pretty glad I made the choice I did. But see if, see if we can get a look. I don't know if you can see that from here. Look at the knots on that thing's head. I mean, look at the head on that thing. That is a big, big channel cat i'm gonna do like i do when i catch any of these channel cats which is i'm gonna let them kind of tucker himself out there for a while they're 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 not calm in the hand when you get when you catch a big flathead you grab the thing and it kind of just calms down channel cats not that way uh, they'll tear your hands up they'll knock your camera in the river if you got a camera on you or whatever they just they they wreak havoc in the kayak if you bring them in too early. So I'm gonna let him kind of swim around, swim circles there, tucker himself out a little bit more. And now I'm gonna get a glove on and see if I can land him. And if I can, we're gonna get, get a better look at him, get a couple pictures with him and let him go. Look at the noggin on that thing. You see the bumps, the knobs on his head there. Ooh. I don't know if that's got something to do with them spawning or what the cause of that is but this time of year these channel cats their heads get real swole it's got to be something to do with the spawn uh, you can see uh, like that one we caught earlier got some marks on the tail down there not quite as bad as the one earlier but quality channel cat there man all right guys i wish i had a better way a better setup here on this kayak to get pictures with these things but this is gonna have to do this is the best i can do for now that's a really good quality channel cat there <laughs> so we had our fun with him we're gonna let him go get him back in the water and we're gonna move on and try to catch one of his friends let you go here on the on the right side of the kayak mr. catfish there he goes let's do that again I think that one gave us our bait back so if you did we're gonna evaluate it should be still pretty fresh here so we'll probably just rehook it move on down to the next brush pile here try to find another one yeah guys that 
that there tore the mouth up there but overall that bait's still in pretty good shape overall so I'm just gonna take and instead of hooking through the mouth we're gonna hook it here through the back get the scales off that hook make sure we don't prevent ourselves from getting the hook set that way and send it back down and try to do that again Look at that. Missed him and that right there is why that hook came back. And was in the bait. Dang it. We had us one there. That bait still's got some juices, some blood flowing out of it, so we're gonna just rehook it. I don't expect that we're gonna get another one to hit off of this hole, but we'll drop a bait back down. And just give it a few minutes before we move on. I thought this looked like a pretty good spot. Was getting ready to move on before that one hit. Was kind of wondering why nothing bit there, but well, guys, like I keep saying, when you're when you're fishing like I am, I'm out here in the middle of the day, um, trying to put my baits right in front of fish, and and my approach is. To get the bait right in the fish's face and assuming I can do that they'll probably more more likely than not uh, eat they'll take that bait but there's hardly ever any guarantee and especially when you're fishing in the middle of the day I mean it's it's three o'clock in the afternoon right now and I'm out here and I'm, I'm catching fish and I'm catching good quality fish right in the middle of the day when a lot of people would say you may as well just be at home but I know that I sit on top of, right on top of a lot of good quality fish that just aren't in the mood, don't bite. And that's just the way it is, and, and I'm okay with that. But obviously, would like to catch whatever fish I can whenever they do bite. So it always stings when when something like that happens, and, and you've got one, but but it gets away. But that's just the way fishing goes, so I can sit here and watch that line, watch that rod tip for a moment, and see if another one will come after it and if not if you can see from here there's a lot of brush in the water right in front of us so I'm gonna go get on that and see if I can pull a fish out of that well what is ordinarily a very good stretch of river has kind of been a letdown the past couple of times I've been on it I started out upstream floated my way down and there's all kinds of great structure down through the stretch to fish I worked as much of it as I could Put the time in and just not really a lot going on so i got three good quality channel cats out here today um, and, and anytime i get to be on the water and i get a good quality bite uh, that's a good day for me so i'm grateful for the fun that i was able to have out here today i would have thought that fishing the quality of the structure that i fished through this stretch that i would have had a few more fish got a few more bites than what i did but that's the way it goes and you take what the river gives you so i'm gonna float my way down here i've got one more spot that i'm gonna hit and just see if there's anything going on there if not i'm gonna get out of here and uh, be back next weekend give it another go hopefully the fish are a little bit more aggressive a little bit more hungry and willing to play on that outing but I'm gonna get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. If I get, if I do get a fish on this next spot down here, I'll uh, clip that on at the end of the video. You'll get to see that. But if not, uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.